Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, please make sure to subscribe and turn notifications on so you never miss when I post a new video. Today I want to talk about the Paris leg of my three weeks in Europe. I figured I would break down the 20 best things that I did in Paris because if you're watching this video and planning a trip, um, this is the, the 20 best highlights that I really recommend that you try when you're in Paris. So number one, I highly recommend that you see Saint-Chapelle. This is a church that's pretty close to Notre Dame and it is spectacular. I literally said wow when I turned the corner and saw the chapel completely lined in stained glass windows from the 1200s, completely intricate, all of the color. It was absolutely stunning. Number two, Notre Dame. You've got to see Notre Dame. It is probably one of the highlights of Paris. Um, we were lucky enough to hit Notre Dame right when the bells were ringing. It was a really cool experience. Really um, appreciate the outside of the church. There are so many different sculptures and stories and details going on. Number three, walk around the Montmartre neighborhood. This is the neighborhood, if you're familiar with the movie Amelie, this is where Amelie was set. And um, there's actually a cafe that you can go to where they filmed the movie Amelie in Montmartre. Um, this is a really cool artist neighborhood. The history of it is back when the Impressionists were uh, running around Paris, a lot of them lived in Montmartre because the housing was very cheap. Um, it was kind of a party scene with all the artists and the absinthe was flowing. That's where the Moulin Rouge was located. So it's got this really bohemian artsy vibe to it. Even today, while you're in Montmartre, make sure to visit the Basilica of Sacré-Cœur. That is going to be the white domed cathedral on the hill. Um, a very cool site. You will see this church in all of the um, kind of like the city landscapes that you'll see of Paris. That's always the white domed church. Um, really cool church to visit. It's all the way on the top of the hill. So um, make sure that you've got your good walking shoes on. Number five, take a Seine River cruise at night. It's a little bit touristy, but it will take you by all of the great attractions. At night, everything takes on a little bit of a different characteristic. All of the buildings are flooded in this beautiful yellow soft light. Um, it's just very romantic. It's very dreamy. Um, I highly recommend it. Number six, visit the Louvre. If you are planning to go to Paris ever, I'm sure that seeing the Louvre is on your list. I highly recommend that you go on one of the later nights. Um, sometimes they're open until 9.30 and that's going to cut down on some of the crowds because this is probably one of the number one sites to see. Um, so it is very busy, very crowded, and it is a huge museum. So I recommend that you grab a map, figure out what are the must-sees on your um, sightseeing list and just hit those. And I also recommend going at night because when you uh, emerge out, the pyramids are all lit up. It's totally beautiful. It is, oh, you want to take your picture for sure out there. It's a totally different light. Um, everything is all aglow. It's really beautiful. Number seven, go to Versailles. It is a great side trip out of Paris. It is a little bit of time on the train, but it's totally worth it. And if you can go early, you are going to beat the crowds. Inside of the palace, it can get pretty packed. Um, we went early, I thought it was a little crowded, but once we saw the line when we got out, I know that we had beat the crowds for sure. Um, and we even got some really cool shots of the garden without anybody in them. So if you can go early, you're really gonna maximize your sightseeing. Number eight, see Monet's lilies at the Orangerie Museum. This was so, this was a stunning moment walking into the room that holds the water lilies. Monet is probably the most uh, famous of the Impressionists and the water lilies was his last work of art before he died. The canvases are huge and they fill this entire room. When you look up close, you see all the color, you see all of the paint, but then when you stand away, you get the water lilies, you see the pond, you see what time of day it is based on the light that's reflecting off of the water. This is 
um, one of the most famous works by Monet and to just be there with it very close and intimately that was a really amazing experience I could have spent the entire day there number nine while you're in the Monet mood why don't you hit up the Orsay Museum they have a fantastic collection of impressionist artists my tip is if that's what you're looking for go into the museum go all the way to the top floor i think it was the fifth floor that's where all the impressionist works are so the van gogh uh, room was really cool because there was so many works of his all in one place and the works that you would really recognize super famous works and again you're just you're right there up close and personal with them number 10 climb to the top of the Arc de Triomphe. The Arc de Triomphe, you can climb to the top. There are tiny staircases that wind all the way up. Um, I consider myself a pretty fit person. Um, I can usually handle a lot of walking and stairs, no problem. I was out of breath. <laughs> but wow, the views from the top were so cool. Um, I did not get to climb to the top of the um, of the Eiffel Tower so to be on the top of the Arc de Triomphe was like was just as good in my opinion. Number 11, eat escargot. Hey, what's the saying, right? When in Rome, do as the Romans. Well, when in Paris, do as the Parisians. And I have to say, um, it kind of tasted like chicken, a little bit rubbery, it wasn't my favorite texture, but the sauce that it came in was delicious. Number 12, wander around neighborhoods. Even though Paris is a huge city, it feels like a little bit of a neighborhood. Depending on where you are, you'll walk around and you'll see little market stalls, you'll see parks, you'll see kids playing it has a real neighborhood vibe to it number 13 picnic by the Eiffel Tower like I said I wasn't able to get a reservation to go to the top of the Eiffel Tower if you do want to do that make sure to book online a couple months in advance you can picnic right by the Eiffel Tower it's totally free to view it's totally free to go by the Eiffel Tower you just got to pay to go up Number 14, eat falafel. I think Middle Eastern and North African cuisine is the most popular among Parisians and it's for good reason. It's so delicious here. Um, we went to Las Du Falafel and it was so worth the hype. It was absolutely delicious. When I was standing in line, there was a couple in front of me and they said that this was the third day that they had eaten there. Number 15, take a walk in the morning. I told you that Paris is magical at night, but it is absolutely majestic in the morning. The sun rising over the sun, the the beautiful light that it bathes the city in is completely different. And if you love to take photographs, this is the time to do it because there's not a lot of people out. You don't have to wait for people to get out of your shot and the light is totally unique and very different. Number 17, discover street art. There is tons of street art and graffiti all throughout the city. Um, and it, it, instead of uh, detracting from the experience, detracting from the beauty of the city, it actually adds to it. Number 18, try new wine. If you only like a certain kind of wine or you're not really you don't really know what kind of wine you like, this is the place to discover and try out new wines. Try to go to a wine tasting if you can. Um, ask for the waitstaff's opinion about wines that'll go with the food that you've ordered in restaurants. And there's tons of wine shops around the city too, so feel free to um, stop in and see maybe if you can discover a new bottle of something that you like to take home. Number 19, take the metro. This is probably the most efficient way to get around the city. It's a lot faster than the buses and it's definitely more efficient than taking a taxi or an Uber. Um, the metro is super fast, it's super convenient and it's pretty cheap as well to take. Number 20, this is my final tip eat bread every single day. You guys may know um, from my Whole30 video that I'm pretty low carb most of the time. I do like bread, but I eat it in uh, moderation for sure. Um, I ate bread multiple times a day when I was in Paris. Um, it, they just serve it with every meal. When we would sit down to breakfast at the hotel, they would serve us baguette and croissant and sometimes I'd eat both. It's not that big of a deal to have a little bit of extra carbs in your life. 
Plus, it's probably the best bread that you'll ever have. So I hope you guys enjoyed those tips. Give them a big thumbs up if you did. Let me know in the comments below what is the one thing that you would love to do if you went to Paris. I hope you guys are having a beautiful week and I will see you in the next video. Bye.